this way. Which one is your hat? Feel how tight the slide is? It's not like the X5 Legion. You can tell with that double spring. But, but to me, I figured it'd be lighter because you got the comp. But I like the weight of it. Oof, right? It feels balanced. It does. I would have an Asian. Well, wait. Yeah. Yeah. While we're out here. Yeah. <laughs> Spectre stuff, uh, some of the suppressors. Green Blackout 556. Little Winter Warfare. Swap out the butt stock to this. Um, modular one that pop out, still folds. Yeah, I mean we converted this, you know, from pistol to SBR. Just this, this butt stock's minimal. Can't really adjust it much. This just gives a better cheek weld and adjustability. Better spots to do this. And one of the points you kind of make now is, like, do you actually think you're ever going to have to use that to defend yourself? It's okay. Actually, I'll like, do. why would you not want I that thing? I think that totally custom. Like, every fucking ounce. Like, if you don't like this, stick to the fucking thing. Like, like you want every, like, every available like, advantage. Yeah, yeah, dude. That's why I'm all about. Like, dude's like, oh, I don't know why you're running a comp. Because my fucking life would end right. Dude, if I could run one when I was in, why wouldn't I? There's an interesting article I read. It's a lot of the same stuff we do, but um, it's like training for like the, the real world scenario. Mm -hmm. It's like, there's nothing static. Mm -hmm. There is no static. Center line, nothing's going in front of this thing. And I really just keep mindful of this. If I have to hit a touch point, this is where it is. Nothing drops below my sternum, because yeah. that's where this pistol is. I'm not arcing it up, not really dropping it down in my center line, because now where I look, I know I can keep my windage. Testing out the new Ingall, um, just making sure it works before we hook it up. MCX, making sure all the pads, all that work. Don't want to mount something when it's not working. Yeah, that optic looks good. Yeah, that, uh... I mean, this is one of the things that guys talk about for the mount. Like, you can't fit everything you need to. Like, everybody wants to go with a sub gun now. Do you want these super small platforms? Have you seen how big these fucking people are? Like, Mike Lover's fucking huge, dude. Like, he's not gonna be able to run that gun at 100% like his life depends on it, I'm trying to run that gun like this. You've gotta make it similar, and we can't put lasers, flashlights, all this shit there. There's not enough real space, because we shrunk them all down. It's like, we bring that, we bring the laser up, now we free out the rail space, and now it'll feel just like your normal carbine, but it's functional. You see, uh, see a bunch of guys mounting their laser on top of sniper scopes now. 
It's like the height of a bore. If you know it, if you adjust to it, it doesn't matter. It's just a hold off. It's the same thing. So. Just being able to free up wheel space where you can still have that same C-clamp grip, but now you can switch shoulders, get both hands, it's free. But yeah, trying to give yourself every possible advantage. Like try to make that platform mm -hmm. feel as comfortable as you can. Like you don't want a limitation. Like you don't want to, you don't want to grab that gun and be like, oh God, I feel like I'm going to break this thing or I can't extend it. I can't do this. I can't do that. A couple of things just rubbing this thing in, but clean, it cleans everything up. One big thing, I, I've wrapped it too hard and then I can't get that dexterity or that feeling. Dip on the buttons. So override and fizz lays are just double tap. So make sure you don't wrap it too tight where you lose that feeling dexterity, but not blocking this QD on as well. Yeah, you know, so these things have that, um, they have a Vizlase override. So that's what I did on mine. I wrapped it too tight and now you can't hit it or it's like auto depressed. So you gotta be able to get in there and work it all. Yeah. That's a good example. That's really good. How much light is it? Yeah. Because it doesn't have that. So if you return to zero, it's fine. But... Boom, click. Like right. what I met up with him and he was bragging about like that. 416, like all these other top impacts. Um, so we got DJ, DRS, Nicole, DRS, and a bonus because uh, we got a knob here and a John Strucker Meyer. They don't try to go against you. You're pushing your entire, you're pushing it. Gives me more options, but it sucks if you actually get put hands on somebody. Be able to throw this thing in any configuration. You can be able to switch over and just do whatever you want to. It makes that transition so much easier. Just be able to put the gun in any configuration. Yeah, I mean, because the gun's on safe. Like, you just spin this thing in weird orientations. Like, just, even if it twists up, it doesn't matter. Like, it free spins. You have to be able to drive it out the shoot. It gives me more opportunity. I just pull it out and flip it on the two, and I can swing it fine. I mean, with CQC, I mean, one point's always nice, but two point works. Switch shoulders. So you want to fit your sling, do you? It's like the thing we should have had 15 years ago, right? Because I always like putting the LA5 front because I use the press button, the top button to activate it, which benefits me in having a C-clamp constantly. But guys are doing a lot more daylight ops. So to have the ability to go and reference a red dot above this and still have a C-clamp, it's changed. I think it changes everything. It, the accessory game with Knight Armament, Knight's Armament, which we were running six inch RAS rails, we had no real estate. Now we have plenty of real estate, but we just don't have a good setup for it. I think this cleans up the world. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Together. 
here. Yes. It's a purpose gun. But now you know you're not going to do it. Awesome trip to Utah. We appreciate Mike Glover, Fieldcraft, Ready Gunner, Neil and all the guys like come out here and shoot. Sig Sauer to bring out these badass cans. Yeah. All these guns for us to try. So, yeah, we're looking forward to getting back to Virginia Beach and shooting some more. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for the support. Appreciate it. Yeah. See you guys next time. Thanks. Thanks.